news. Hillary Rodham Clinton. She passed out yesterday as I did the report about that and uh, I found out she's got a body double. Now there's somebody that looks like her extremely well. Um, her name is Teresa Barnwell. Uh, she's 61 years old. She earns thousands for impersonating Hillary Clinton. Um, she became a full-time look-alike after Bill Clinton became president. Pretty cool. Uh, Barnwell said Clinton was really lovely when they met at a book signing. Ooh. Uh, former advise, advise, uh, ah, advertising executive bears such a striking resemblance to U.S. presidential hopeful Hillary Clinton that she quit her job to work as a full-time Look alike. Now, she uh, Teresa earns thousands every month for impersonating Clinton. Now, yesterday, uh, the big thing is when she passed out. If you look at it, um, she was her feet were dragging, so she couldn't walk whatsoever. They had to pick her up drag her, throw her into the van. Now, before, exactly right before that happened, uh, if you look on the screen, actually, I might put this in full screen here. There's a met metallic item that falls out from her pant leg. Now, many people think it's leg supports to keep her from falling. Very, very possible. There's a lot of things that it could be. Um, but that the big thing is over here, when she came out, uh, she actually didn't go to the hospital. She went to her daughter Chelsea's house. And when she got out of the house, she had these blue glasses on. And she looked a little weird. Because if you every time Hillary's around, she's surrounded by bodyguards and stuff like that but this time nobody was there and they said that she's got pneumonia but she's out there hugging a child if you have pneumonia you wouldn't do that unless you're a real scumbag and um i start to notice she doesn't look like this person doesn't look like hillary something off here now somebody gave me a side-by-side -side comparison of the Hillary that came out of Chel of the uh, wherever the hell it was Chelsea's house or wherever she was, the nose oh, side by side face comparison, the noses are completely different shaped. Um, this one had a hooked curved nose coming up and comes down like a hook. Um, and on top of that, uh, Hillary's nose comes down like that more of a straight angle so I did more digging and I found that she actually hired this woman to be a body double she is so sick her health is so bad that she needed this person to help her out and uh, this is the one time I kind of disagree with Alex Jones but I am. I listen to Alex Jones all the time. He brings the best news. Every, he's just the man. He does. He sacrifices a lot. He says that he doesn't think that there is a body double, but I think there is. Um, there's proof that there is a body double out there. Saddam Hussein, um, the leader of Iraq that we had to take down, uh, he had about ten or twelve body doubles with surgical. Um, with surgery done to them to make them look more like him. It's not impossible, right? Another thing, 
if we're talking about technology, you know, to make somebody look like somebody, in Russia there was a man that transplanted his head onto a cancer-free body. His body was can riddled, riddled with cancer, and someone was uh, had brain cancer and donated their body to him, and they had did the transplant, and it was successful. The dude lived. He's living now a great life. So it's not possible. So I'm um, um, another thing is I've been hearing uh, within the past ten minutes or so that the election could be delayed if. A candidate is killed, dies suddenly, or assassination attempt, which could be very bad. As of right now, Donald Trump would win, but they are the DNC is currently having a meeting right now, the Democratic National Committee, to see. If they want to put somebody else in the place of uh, in place of uh, Hillary Rodham Clinton, <sighs> their names have floated up there. Um, Joe Biden, Bernie Sanders, and John McCain. He's a Republican. Whatever. So let's uh, pray. That she makes it. Because uh, I'm looking forward to the debates. This month, uh, September 26th. The first presidential debate against the two nominees. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Uh, I'm going to be buying a lot of beer. I don't drink beer often, but when I do, I drink it on a, for something big. That's big. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I highly appreciate it. Um, if you want to help support my broadcast, uh, go on to ProWrestlingTees.com and pick up one of my shirts. I have the Donald Trump shirt. Um, type in Trump oil, oil painting. Trump oil painting. Or the BTO blood pack shirt. Um, type in Boom Trevone Order. Uh, there's another shirt on there too. So, uh, I hope to see a couple of you guys sending me pictures of those. And, uh, as always, toss me a like and, uh, tell your friends. I am your news, information at its core, Jerry Travone's breaking news from Travone World News, signing out. What?